Drone clashes in Ukraine resembled World War I aerial battles. Thousands of unmanned aircraft are taking to the skies over Ukraine, performing a wide range of tasks such as directing artillery fire, surveillance and acting as airborne munitions, according to a report in Business Insider. It's a set of tasks so integral to combat that earlier this month, the Ukrainian military launched the world's first dedicated unit dedicated solely to drone warfare. Before Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the world had seen only a handful of incidents involving drones. But now Russia and Ukraine are engaged in a drone arms race, investing vast amounts of money, time and expertise in developing and countering each other's systems, he said. James Patton Rogers, drone expert and director of Cornell Brooks Tech, Today, drones that once unleashed their explosive payloads on multi-million dollar armored vehicles are instead targeting other drones because of the threat they pose. Mike Monick, CEO of drone intelligence platform DroneSec, told the publication. The paper's authors reviewed more than 40 videos of drone-to-drone -drone confrontations over Ukraine, collected and annotated by DroneSec to identify some of the different and often repeated tactics that quickly evolved over this short period. There is still an internal connection in the real world between both warring sides, perhaps greater than between World War I aviation, as pilots try to outwit each other. The last thing many drone pilots will see in the viewfinder of their doomed drones is an enemy drone, knowing there's an enemy pilot somewhere on the other end watching it all in their own headset. It's the morbid intimacy of modern warfare, Rogers said. Civilian ships will soon be able to transport swarms of UAVs. The Telegraph writes about this. According to the publication, German defense concern Rheinmetall is proposing a new form of weapon, a standard shipping container that can hold 126 attack drones, and if one company publicly discusses the idea, others are also considering it, and the implications for naval warfare could be significant. On Sunday, Rocket debris crashed onto a beach in Sevastopol in occupied Crimea, killing four people and injuring more than 150. Russia initially said it shot down a Ukrainian Atoms, but later retracted that story and accused Kiev of a deliberate attack. However, build expert Julian Rock considers this version untenable and provides several arguments to support it. The analyst notes that the beach is 4 kilometers south of the military airfield and 3 kilometers north of the naval base. At the same time, Ukraine previously openly stated that Russian armed forces facilities in Crimea would become targets of attacks, and warned about the dangers of traveling to the peninsula. Also on the beach they found fragments of missiles from the TOR anti-aircraft missile system, which indicates the work of Russian air defense. Each Atoms contains 950 small M74 fragmentation submunitions designed to cause as much damage as possible, the analyst adds. It was they who scattered in all directions when the missile was shot down. At the same time, the footage shows that most of the fragments fall into the sea not along the beach, but across it. This means that Atoms was flying to another target, for example, to an airfield or naval base, and was shot down on approach. Only a small part of the fragments fell on the beach itself. If the Ukrainian armed forces had deliberately attacked tourists with an Atoms missile, the damage would have been incomparably greater, notes Ropk. On Sunday, June 23, Russian air defense shot down a missile over Sevastopol. Its debris fell on the beach where people were relaxing. The Russian Federation reported that as a result of the air defense, four people were killed and more than 150 were injured. After this, Russian tourists began to cancel planned trips to the peninsula. At the same time, analysts at the American Institute for the Study of War said that Russia is purposefully placing military facilities near civilian areas in the temporarily occupied Crimea.